Okay. Of course, my people are always showing me things, and I remember in Santa Barbara. Now, this is not brass or bronze. This is actually 100% copper, and it turns green, too. So a lot of stuff we think is brass. Uh, if it doesn't turn silver, it's just copper. And if you go to Santa Barbara, the Hotel California, this stuff is in pristine perfection. But yeah, this was just a theme park. Fascinating. And we got an old, um, I don't know, city water meter made by somebody. I don't know. I'm tired. And we got granite. Come on, man, you're making a fort. You're not gonna put all this uh, stuff into a fort. Oh, that tree. You're gonna be happy to know the tree is still alive. It's not dead. It's going through its uh, regenerative cycle. And it is sprouting. Oh, look at this. That's some Antiquitech right there, man. Check that out. Who made this? I don't know. I can't even read it. Look at the design on it. You know that leads into the underground city. It's ancient. Look at it. Look at that. Look at it. Ancient. Survived the nuclear bomb. So, but I wanted to give you some hope. Because hope springs eternal. Some say a rose. It's still alive. And you can eat these. These are safe to eat. But uh, make sure you get a book and learn how to do it proper. Because I don't know how to eat them. So it's not dead. But yeah, when I go to Santa Barbara, you're going to see these things. They are 100% copper. This was nothing but a theme park. And you know, we made it to survive a nuclear war. Don't know about the new ones. Yeah, you're going to want wood for your fireplaces. And here's the Colonel Olmsted Cordas. 1862. So it seems like everything ended in 1850. And the war went on, I guess, a little bit longer till 1941. So there was actually a continuous war from 1853 till the end of World War II. And then, uh, you know, we just hung out in places like this, repurposed them. There were no longer theme parks. They actually had to be military centers. And then we went to Vietnam, where China kicked our asses because the U.S. military armed... China, the Freemasons, not the non-Masons. And all these preachers, imams, rabbis, generals, okay? They screwed us royally. But I hope you have places to hide. Run to the hills, like Jesus Christ said. Run to the hills when you see them bombs dropping. And then dig yourself out and repurpose the theme parks. So go to Six Flags, go to Disneyland, and get into the underground cities and dig them out. Matter of fact, if anyone's alive after this next nuclear war, if they won't let us stop it. Yeah, look at this shit, wow. That is ancient. Yeah, this is an ancient place. But it was a theme park. And there is an underground city. And it survived, it lived through it. See, the wasps are happy. They're making little wasp nests. I'll go over here one more time, and then I'm going to go to Tybee Island. It's time for some whiskey, because us southern boys, we drink our whiskey, and so do our southern girls. But just think of it, okay, a theme park built to survive a nuclear war. Dungeons and Dragons. Genius. I love it. Same thing in India. Same thing in wherever, Pakistan, Israel, Palestine. They're just names. It's just ink on paper. This was your wine cellar, because you know you want to get drunk when the world's all blown up and there's only 10 of you left, or a 1,000 of you left. Whoever is getting to go down below is going to leave the rest of us up here to die. Yeah, you can look at this shit. This ain't 1865. This predates 10,000 years, probably. So there's no reason to do it again. And you're just going to have to start stepping it up and putting it in their face. Hey! Trump, why are you faking space? Just be a reporter. Be honest. Stop serving these motherfuckers. It's just ink on paper. They don't own you. I don't own you. I don't want you to serve me. I want you to be my ally. I don't want to serve you. I want to be your ally. I want us to work as one and turn this back into a theme park where the children run and play and we swim in this thing. And we have fun. And we play Dungeons and Dragons, Pirates of the Caribbean. You name it, and we go down below. See, war is murder. It's all it's ever been in these places we built for fun, but at some point, I guess we forgot that war is murder. 
There are no heroes in killing people. They're just dead. All right? That's all war is. Yeah, I'm having strong deja vu. I guess the weapons even got inside. They must have had handheld laser weapons. It's all here as a memory. But this place is ancient. Ancient. And all they did with the NASA rockets was re-figure out how to make nuclear bombs one more time and blow up the world. And everyone's got them. India's got nukes. Brazil, Congo. It's just hydrogen and oxygen. Those are elements. They are not water or air. Those are elements. But if we can't stop it, then blend in. Protect your seeds when it's over. Gather in communities and live. This place is, yeah. This stone proves this place is at least 10,000 years old right here. The color of it, this used to be white. It took forever. Okay. We don't have to have war, people. We don't have to do what they say. And if you don't want to kill no one, then get some wire cutters. Cut a diode. Cut a capacitor. Cut a brake wire to whoever you think is, you know, not going to be decent. They're going to keep being evil. And they want to drop nuclear bombs and melt the world. You know, you might want to cut the wires to them goddamn hydrogen bombs and every weapon you can, regardless of military. Peace out. Here come. They're coming. They're coming to drop bombs on me. I got to go. See you in the future. See you at the campfires. Remember, we're doing this for our future births and for our children's children who will one day become our parents. Life is eternal. Let's fix purgatory and put an end to the raka. We are Pato.